Today, I have taken a topic of pediatric that is ART, atraumatic restorative treatment. What is it? First of all, we'll discuss about the definition, the principles, goals of ART, what are the instruments and materials used for ART, plus the advantages, disadvantages, or the limitations. Let us first start with the definition of uh, ART. So, AAPG or American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry defines ART as a dental caries treatment procedure involving the removal of soft demineralized tooth tissue using hand instrument alone, followed by restoration of the tooth with an adhesive restorative material routinely used is glass anomer. The goals of ART is to preserve the tooth structure, reducing the chance of infection and avoiding any discomfort. So we can see here, let us see what are the two main principles of ART. Number one is to remove the carious tooth using hand instruments only. Then restoring the cavity with the restorative material that sticks to the tooth like GIC. Use of hand instruments, of course, it will lead to minimal cavity preparation, conserving as much as tooth. Low cost, limitation of pain and also infection control. And use of GIC as a restorative material because GIC, it chemically bonds to the tooth structure, both to the enamel and the dentine. And then we know very good advantage of GIC is that it releases the fluoride. Also, it does not hurt or does not inflame your pulp or gingiva. The indications of ART for small cavities involving enamel or dentine. In those cavities which are actually accessible for you to use the hand instruments in case of public health programs. While the contraindication when you cannot use ART like in case of swelling, abscess or fistula, uh, pulp exposed tooth, teeth which are painful for a long time or obvious caries cavity but opening is inaccessible to the hand instruments. Of course, you cannot do ART then. Uh, the cavities are proximal surface and difficult to enter by hand instrument because in these cases when there is a swelling, painful tooth, you better go for the pulpectomy or the RCT, more invasive procedures. ART is not going to be useful there. We can see the instruments that we are using here in ART. We are starting with the mouth mirror that reflects the light. It helps in indirect view. Mouth mirror also helps in retraction of the cheek or tongue. Then the use of explorer which will help in identifying where there is a soft carious dentine that need to be scooped out. The tweezers, adding the cotton wool rolls, pallets, spoon excavator. So use of spoon excavator is very very important for ART because it is the spoon excavator that helps in removing the soft carious lesion with a small diameter of 1 millimeter or medium of 1.5 mm. Then you can see the hatchet. Dental hatchet are used for widening the entrance to the cavity. Then we have the applier or carver which will help in inserting the mixed GIC into the cavity or to remove any excess restorative material we are using the carver or the applier. Then for the isolation you can see the rolls are there, the pallets are there which helps in absorbing the saliva. Now, uh, petroleum jelly, it is helpful to keep the moisture away from the GIC and also prevent sticking of GIC to the gloves. Use of plastic strips because it will help in contouring the proximal surface if you have multiple surface restoration to be done. Wedges, which will hold the past plastic strips close. Then the GIC itself. Here we are using the powder liquid system, the self-cure. Now, you can see the operator position standing, sitting on the stool. Let us see what are different steps that are involved in ART. First of all, as we know, isolation is very important. We are using the cotton rolls for absorbing the saliva and short term protection from the moisture. Then we are preparing the cavity for first of all, removing the plaque from the tooth surface with a wet cotton wool palette, dry up the surface with a dry palette, and then you are removing the soft caries using the spoon excavator. And we are using the circular scooping motions. If the opening of the hole is narrow, widen the entrance by using the blade of your hatchet into the cavity and turning the instrument forward and backward like turning a key. You can see in the picture here, so entrance if it is narrow, we are using a hatchet and we are making the entrance wider. Now cleaning of the prepared cavity, so excavation is easy to do when the tooth is dry, therefore saturated cotton wools for dry ones, you need to keep changing them. Uh, carious dentine is removed with the excavator by making a circular scooping movements around the long axis. Any kind of overhanging enamel or the enamel which is unsupported must be removed with the blade of the hatchet. 
In order to improve the chemical bonding of GIC to the two structure, the walls of your preparation should be very dry and clean. So just by using the cotton wool pallets may not be as good for creating the uh, cavity that's very clean. We can use a dentine conditioner or a tooth cleaner that is especially developed for ART purpose or the liquid that is supplied with the GIC itself. So first of all, you are applying one drop of conditioner on a pad or the slab and dip a cotton wallet, cotton pallet in the drop and then clean the entire cavity by using the conditioner for around 10 to 15 seconds. Now immediately after that you wash the cavity and fissures at least twice by using your cotton wool pallets which are dipped in a clean water. For the ART we know the material that we are using is GIC and the composition of GIC in the powder liquid. GIC has a powder which has calcium fluoroaluminosilicate a silicon dioxide in it and the liquid is polyacrylic acid or demineralized water. So GIC has the best property it chemically bonds both to the enamel and the dentine and we know the fluoride releasing property that will prevent the caries. Glass anomer they have higher surface wear but lower strength as compared to other restorative materials that we have. So while you are mixing the very important spoonful of powder on the glass slab or the mixers to follow all the instructions that are given by manufacturer. You are putting a spoonful of powder on a mixing pad and then you are using a spatula to divide the powder into two equal portions. Then you put a drop of the liquid not on the powder but next to the powder. Now you hold the liquid bottle horizontal for movement so that the air is escaping from the tip and move it to the vertical portion and then allow one drop of liquid to fall onto the slab. What you are doing first of all you are spreading the liquid with a spatula over a surface and then you start mixing by adding one half of the powder into the liquid using the spatula. And then you roll the powder into the liquid gently wetting the particles without spreading them around the slab. So as all powder particles are wetted by the liquid the second portion now is folded into the mix and the mixing should be completed within 20 to 30 seconds of course, it depends upon the brand of your GIC as well. Now you insert the mixture into the prepared cavity and over the remaining fissure must begin immediately. So you are using apply a carver to place small amount of the mixture into the cavity first. So this will avoid any air trapping between the floors of cavity and the GIC so that the voids are not formed. And the entire application procedure you have to finish within 30 to 40 seconds. Then you rub a small amount of petroleum jelly on your glove finger and then you do what is called as press finger technique. So you're applying pressure on the soft restorative material using your finger firmly into the cavity fissures and then slide the finger smoothly across the occlusal surface of the tooth. So that the excess of GIC will, will get deposited in the remaining cavity. Let us see the advantages of ART. Of course, ART being an atraumatic restorative technique as the name itself is suggesting, we are doing minimal cavity preparation here, which will conserve your tooth structure. It's a painless technique, no need of local anesthetic here. So trauma to the patient is also less. Simplifying infection control as hand instruments are only used in this technique, which can be easily cleaned and sterilized. No electrical driven or any expensive dental equipments are required. Technique is very simple enough to even train non-dental personnel or primary healthcare workers to use it. Cost effective friendly procedure especially for children who are fearful and make restorative care very accessible for all the population groups very widely used in public health programs. But yes ART still have its own limitations like long term survival rate for glass anomaly ART restoration and sealant. No that is not available. It is only used limited to small and medium sized one surface lesion because of low wear resistance and strength that we have with GIC. Hand mixing might produce an improper mix, depends upon the operator. Misapprehension that ART can be performed easily, this is not the case, right? Because every step has to be carried with perfection. And possibly operator can get hand for